21 time felon, been to federal prison, been to state prison. My history is kind of messed up. I have a long history of felonies. Selling drugs was my hobby. I loved it money and I loved the lifestyle that it came with. I loved the attention that I used to get. And I couldn't get enough of it. I did 11 and a half years altogether of my time incarcerated. 1999, I got sentenced to five years in federal prison and I violated probation and got caught selling drugs again. So I got sent to state prison for four years and got sent back to federal prison for a year. When I was released from prison, I couldn't find a job for the first 18 months. And finally, I seen this sign um, at this jewelry shop that said, sign holder. So I went in there and I asked the lady, you know, uh, y'all hiring for the sign holder? She said, can you work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday? I said, sure, I can work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. She said, "Could you hire. Mr. Pretender! Mr. Pretender! So at the time, I didn't know they had to put on the gold suit. She was like, well, you got to put on the gold suit. With me coming from the background that I come from, put on the gold suit is a big no-no. Everybody finds out that I'm wearing this gold suit right here. I'm going to be the laughing stock of the neighborhood. Everybody's going to be calling my phone. It's going, why do you got a gold suit on? What is going on with you? but I need this money. So I went to the job anyways and I did it. I'll never forget that my boss lady, Miss Virginia Ann, was like, you try waving more, maybe you get some attention. And I did it and after a while, I just started playing with my hat. And people started riding by and they actually wanted to see Mr. Gold do the hat trick. I'm like, what's so good about that? What? I'm not just snapping my hat at y'all. Like, I'm not doing nothing special. But it got to a trend that everybody that rolled by did the hat thing and it became a trend. I think the most memorable thing about being Mr. Gold right now is I was in Target one day and this lady come told me her son never talks around the house, he's going to therapy right now. But every time he sees me, first thing he says, Mom, there go Mr. Gold. So I just, you know, it really drew something in me. This, this character is really for real. People are taking this character to the heart, and I need to embrace it, you know. And I think, you know, like I said, that's when I found my job. I knew that was my, where I needed to be at. plans for the future. I just want to, you know, get my own landscaping business because I want to be able to open up doors for felons. I know how hard it is for us felons nowadays to find jobs. I want to be able to help felons out to come and I'll be able to hire them and get them a second chance because felons are not getting chances out there. <laughs> wow. You look like a totally different person. Wow. Oh, oh my god. Wow. It's been like since I was 16 since I seen my teeth like Are this. Are you serious? Twenty-one time felon, been to federal prison, been to state prison. My history is kind of messed up. I have a long history of felonies. Selling drugs was my hobby. I loved it, money, and I loved the lifestyle that it came with. I loved the attention that I used to get, and I couldn't get enough of it. I did eleven and a half years altogether of my time incarcerated. Nineteen ninety-nine, I got sentenced to five years in federal prison, and I violated probation and got caught selling drugs again. So I got sent to state prison for four years and got sent back to federal prison for a year. When I was released from prison, I couldn't find a job for the first 18 months, 